Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back to Minotaur Hotel. We just had a um, good conversation, I would say, with Argos, right? <laughs> Did I do that right? Probably not. You turned around and started walking back towards the cave. This is not how you expected your morning to start. As you make your way, Argos's words echo in your head, and the full weight of the task at hand begins to dawn on you. As you recall his last line, you notice your feet are climbing up and are climbing up the pace. Wait, are picking up the pace. Ooh. By the time you make it to the staircase, you are at a full-on sprint. You curse the snake as you, indeed, uh, climb two steps at a time, just like he said you would. I can't do that. I'm so uncoordinated, guys. Like, I can't... I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I can barely go upstairs one step at a time. Like... <clears throat> Things are off to a bad start. You haven't even begun your tasks, and you're already jumping through Argos's loops. You arrive at the Master's Quarters, where Asterion is already dressed and waiting for you with a somber face. He's biting his lips, holding himself from asking any questions while you catch your breath. Good morning, Asterion. Good morning, Master. He grow. <clears throat> How did it go? Well, I have good news and bad news. You catch Asterion up on everything. Argos told you. The contract, the bottle, your task, and the two-day limit. You expect him to perk up when about hearing about the wine bottle, but it seems like uh, he, contain he contained his excitement, as if he was expecting the inevitable um, caveat. So yes, we have two days to get that bottle. I decide to come ask you what I'd, uh, <clears throat> what I'd be up against instead of going to the labyrinth right away. Asterion ponders on the situation for a moment, before he's, before his um, face eases into a smile, strained, with a lot of baggage behind it, but a smile nevertheless. I appreciate your concern, Master, but I don't think the bottle is worth the trouble. The labyrinth houses a lot of dangers I would rather you, know, rather you be spared from. I can heal just fine on my own. Uh, <clears throat> well, I will just take longer. No, I mean it. If I can help you get back to your former self, I will do everything I can. That's also the matter of the internet project. I think it's, uh, I think this will distract us from getting it finished. I fear that if we do not focus on it, uh, we will lose our guests, or, even worse, fail to attract them in the first place. But this is urgent. We will, uh... We have a dilemma in our hands, then. If we have to choose between one or the other, I suggest we focus on the internet project. I mean, I, I almost agree with that. <laughs> Heal Asterion or having internet? Mm, I do like the internet. <laughs> Wait a minute. Maybe we can multitask. Multitask? Well, we have you, Luke, and me. Maybe we can split the task between the three of us. Asterion flinches. I would very much prefer not to be sent to the Valley Master. Besides, I had a conversation with Kota. <clears throat> Kota. I know he is uh, still upset. I know he is upset with Luke, but maybe he can help with the other task. I know he has his issues, but after last night, he might be willing to help. That sounds like a good idea. Maybe we should all meet at the lobby then. As you command, Master. I will go look for them right away. Okay. Half an hour later. Ah, hello, Kota. This is, uh, preposterous. The nerve. I am more than happy to help with whatever you need, Mr. Josh. After all, I am enjoying your hospitality free of charge, but I at least expect a modicum of respect. So far, 15 minutes of my time have been wasted by this- Oh. Kota, I know you're, ups you're both upset at each other, but can we please keep it civil? This is important. 
All I am saying is, we can get started right away. Just you, Asterion, and I. I cannot fathom any task that cannot be performed without. Oh. Good morning, uh, Mr. Asterion. Good morning, Mr. Welter. Yeah, shut your trap. Don't act like I don't, I, I didn't just hear you talking shit. Howdy, Josh. Sorry for the delay. Asterion took me his sweet time finding me. I wasn't exactly in my room. Let's just say... Uh, so, what's this about? Well, we have a situation on our hand. As, um, we're both... As you're both aware, we're doing everything possible to establish an internet connection to the hotel. Ah, that is wonderful to hear. I'm, uh, sure that will, uh, appease some of the guests. It's qu it's quite the uh, common complaint I hear in the hallways. It is, but we seem to have uh, stumbled uh, into another problem that needs our attention, and it looks like we're um, understaffed, which is why we called you, Kota. The master will be going into the valley below the hotel, and uh, and could use some assistance with it, and we also need a need to work on establishing the internet connection. There's three of us. I think we can split into two teams. One will work on research and development, and the other will go explore the valley. Well, count on me, Mr. Josh. Sure. Long as, uh, he's far away from me. Well, I'll be. Uh, for once we agree on something. Sure, I think we can arrange it. Uh, watch the tutorial. Exploring the labyrinth works in a simple, uh, simple way to R&D projects. Your guests now have um, four additional stats: artifacts, mementos, uh, surveying, and danger. The artifact stat, uh, oh, whew, okay, uh, affects your likeliness to encounter items that may boost your status. Uh, mementos will work towards finding old items that may reveal some insight on Asterion's past. Uh, surveying acts differently. Uh, surveying will yield random rewards. The higher the stat is, the more you may find. Uh, surveying may also contribute towards artifact, <clears throat> towards artifacts and memento rewards. Uh, are also cumulative. If you don't find an item on your on one run, you um, your unspent points will be um, available next session. One last thing, keep an eye out on your danger stat. If danger is the highest stat, uh, total, wait, is the highest total stat in your exploration team, there's a chance the Labyrinth's uh, forces will attack your guests. This may leave your guests unable, unavailable for a couple days. If this happens, you won't be able to assign them to a team, so it's not worth the risk. Remember, you can split your uh, guests uh, any way you want between the teams. Okay. Uh, uh, two is danger. Four is danger. Okay. Zero. Uh, okay. Um, that seems fine. Oh, what? No, oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Whoops. Uh. Oh, okay, that's him being selected. Okay. Okay, I, <laughs> I got confused. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I'll take Koto with me. With the three of, with the four of you um, assigned to your roles, you will bid Asterion and Luke farewell as Kota and you uh, head towards the staircase leading to the valley. Hmm. Okay. The valley is laid bare ahead of you in all its curves. Uh, rivers and uh, rock stra strata, uh, snakes. Okay. Uh, across the. Uh, <laughs> across the uh, landscape, uh, guiding your vision to the orange and blue horizon. 
The air is uh, somehow both chilly and humid. It blows against your chest and crawls open uh, to your spine, uh, making your hair stand up and your cheeks uh, flush. The day spent inside the hotel has left you used to its uh, sterile, sterile, uh, stagnant odors. The, the land defies that entirely. The very scent is alive. A thick cloud of petrical pet. What? What? I. Mm, ah? Ah? Okay. Um. We can. How is this word spelled? P E T R I C H. Petricor. Petricor? A pleasant smell that frequently accompanies the first rain after a long period of warm, dry weather. Okay. A thick cloud of petricor uh, wafts up as if a light drizzle had just fallen over the valley, along with the scent of herbs and sh uh, sh shallow vegetation. Yeah. Okay. I can't help but uh, shiver at, <clears throat> as you take the final step towards the sun and out into the uh, godforsaken land. Akota and you uh, uh, follow the snake's instructions and set out to the east. For a while, wait, for a while conversation flows between the two of you. <clears throat> However, the hike ahead of you is long and arduous, and the swelling sun uh, refuses to yield. Uh, one can't keep talking for long under these conditions. You settle into a rhythm, and you, uh, fall into a trance. Uh, leaving a place unattended for too long, and something... <clears throat> uh, and something thicker than silence... than silence, uh, takes root. It buries... burrows... itself, and leaves only its eyes open, uh, peeking from the sand. It spreads its roots, grows branches, blooms its flowers, and waits until a, a wandering soul passes by uh, close enough to graze on its spine. It lures its branches to uh, grip you and pull you back to your own, <clears throat> to your place of belonging. They uh, prickle the back of <clears throat> the back of one's skull and ri raise the uh, hairs at the uh, nape of your neck. Um, it wants you gone. These creatures do not want, do not welcome the living. Everything is shy. Uh, something as shy as someone's breathing is enough to tense the branches, uh, contracting them into uh, gnarled talons. But trudge on. Uh, once a uh, place is taken over by uh, these cobwebs, it is bound to take a, a while to banish them all. Claim the land. Uh, crush the pebbles under your might. The might of your uh, stampede. Uh, with your uh, stomping g g gate. Okay. Um, breaking them um, bringing them open to reveal the uh, jagged f uh, flesh within. Leap on top of the precious stones, uh, feel them shifting and rebalancing under your weight. As they uh, threaten to topple, uh, jump off to the next, uh, land soft-footed, and um, uh, make your he yeah make your uh, heel land without a uh, peep from the rock. Uh, taste your own swaying steps, a uh, step as you climb a uh, soft. A sanded dune. Have no shame when it uh, grows steep, but trudge on like a beast and slay and slash your claws into the sand's tender chest. Uh, rest your. Is this rest? Okay. Uh, your hand out. As if it was a, uh, a pagan ritual. I hope that's right. As if intent. Uh, as if instead of stray uh, sand, as <clears throat> enemies' life blood splayed out. When your brand, when your breath quickens and sweat drips from your brow, uh, glance at the horizon and hear it, <clears throat> hear its cries against your might. Let um, rage simmer at the top of your throat, but uh, swallow it and trudge on, champion. Know well, this is your valley, a cursed land bequeathed uh, by the gods to humans uh, to do with as they please. And pebbles threaten to trip you. 
it's pebbles right there in the trap you, but are uh, cleaved instead by your march. It's precarious uh, stones shift back and forth to topple you, but are left turned and exposed. The vegetation reaches out to uh, pull you back by the ankles and sh sh shoulders, uh, but your, uh, your will is sovereign in your wake. <clears throat> All that is left are broken twigs and dried leaves. Have no mercy for the barren soil. Uh, crush it under your heel. You are the realm's master, so let it, f <clears throat> so let it fear your your might. And just as the sun reaches the apex, half a dozen structures crop up over the horizon. Uh, there is a human regular, uh, regularity uh, to their placement. But then your clothes are drenched, and your face is, uh, is caked with a, uh, <clears throat> with a layer of sweat, oil, and dirt. But no human gnawing uh, away at you, nor do your uh, eyes grow wary. In fact, the idea of reaching your goal and stopping makes you restless. As you approach, it becomes clear which is the uh, one most decayed of them all. Some of its ceilings have collap <clears throat> uh, has collapsed, uh, leaning in a beam of sunlight. While Kota investigates the place, you search for the offering Argos described. You open the door to the uh, cracked to the cracked kennel. Kiln? Kiln? Kiln. Whoops. I can't... I can't you, you know, guys? You know how it is with me. Light pours in, and a rancid smell creeps out. It clings to your nostrils and tongue, a metallic rank scent. It claws its way into your chest and flares the fire uh, burning in you. The contents of your uh, stomach boil up into your throat, and you uh, cringe while trying to keep yourself uh, together. Uh, the searing stench is unrelenting. It thrusts inside you, uh, trying to grasp, uh, grasp your heart until a uh, groan brings you back to reality. Inside there is a pit, uh, more than six feet deep, uh, dug out a long time after the kiln's uh, original con construction. Uh, sometimes uh, uh, something shifts inside the kiln, a dark shape uh, whose every movement is uh, accompanied by the rubble uh, of rock. Uh, groaning against itself. There's a head with eyes aimed at you and swinging from left to right like someone trapped in a convulsion. The thing still, wait, the whole thing uh, shudders as it uh, backs, comes back to life and throws an arm in your direction, but shrieks against the uh, light coming from behind you. You jerk back in fright and in doing so, swing the door open further. And the thing recoils, uh, shrinks again, and falls down into ruined uh, weeping as its uh, shape is revealed. It's pitch black and made of stone, and made out of stone, but its uh, form is human. In fact, it has the um, bountiful uh, curves and long flowing hair of a woman. But beneath the waist, there is nothing. Her legs have been smashed away, and uh, only dark clumps of jagged rock remain. The thing switches back and forth between recoiling from the light and throwing its uh, arms in your direction. But even if it lunges at you, it will fall. It will fail. Uh, the pit is too deep for the stone woman to uh, reach you in its uh, in her um, legless state. It is only then uh, that you uh, look downwards, and a little bundle of leaves um, <clears throat> waiting for you a few inches away from the door. It fits Argos' description. This must be what the um, what he wants you to sacrifice. You obtained bundle. You take the bundle and close the door behind you. Mr. Josh, you should uh, be more careful. Yes, that was scary. I think my curiosity got the best of me. But I got the bundle, I suppose. Now, now that you have the essential, uh, perhaps it would be uh, more prudent if you were to uh, head back to the hotel while I explore the rest of this place. You sure you can handle it? Mr. Josh, please. Uh, I'm a... I'm an uh, avid... Uh, experienced traveler. I may look out of place in this situation, but trust me, I am more comfortable than I look. 
I... you wouldn't believe the things I ran into in my travels. If you insist, Kota, I appreciate it. Oh, right, before I forget, uh, Argo said something about looking behind the, the kilns. You might want to check that out. I will see to it, then. <clears throat> the expedition took you uh, long enough, and if you, uh, if you uh, don't want to be out here at nightfall, you need to return home soon. Return soon, whatever. You pack up and set out for home. Uh, the first step when arriving at the hotel in the lounge. Okay, uh, since you've spent the uh, last week in a place where food and drink are always at your disposal, you haven't felt uh, this thirsty in a very long while. Your next stop is in the master's quarters. You take a long shower to wash away all the grime and tension, and then sit on the couch to rest and reflect on the day. The bundle is sitting on the dinner table. Every once in a while, your thoughts drift back to it, and how uh, little time you have left to sacrifice it. You can only hope that Kota discovers something that might help. After a while, you decide to go check your team's progress. Let's check in on the R&D team. Oh, it looks like you uh, completed a project. Oh, it's you. Mr. Josh, Mr. Josh, it's wonderful. Everyone's having a blast. Oh, uh, hey Greta, uh, what's going on? Is the internet working? <coughs> internet. Oh, yes, the internet, silly me. How could I forget? It is working. We did it. But that's not even the best thing. This whole experience has given me so, so many amazing ideas, such incredible visions for research. I wrote the document outlining a few of them and showed it to everyone. They are all so blown away by it, they can't even take more than, the, uh, than one idea or two before needing a break. Oh, it's beautiful, Mr. Josh. Everyone back at the engineering department will be so jealous. That's... that's great, Greta. I'm happy to hear that. I'm sure everyone will, uh, love your ideas. So, I take it everything is set up and well? Yes, absolutely. More or less. We... we got the Wi-Fi to work. But there's... Uh, <clears throat> but there was a whole mess about getting an internet service provider. And... We might be, uh... <laughs> we might be using the internet service providing... Uh, the, uh, Uragar work for, uh, okay. So, uh, things are very makeshift on that end, you see. Uh, the broadband is very limited. But it works. Everything is in order. But if something goes wrong, I'm afraid I have no idea how to fix it. Huh. I'm not a network engineer. Uh, give, give me a break, okay? You might want to send their, um... <clears throat> Their center, their central, an email once, <coughs> every once in a while, and you'll have to pay the bills too. But I'm sure that will uh, be easy for you with a magic hotel and all. Give me one minute. We're uh, we're doing a stress test here. I'll be right back with you. You approach Asterion and Luke. Hell yeah! Check this out, Mister Josh. Luke Borderline uh, shoves his phone into your face. It has a few, uh, it has uh, seen better days. Its sides are dented, and the screen is cracked and scratched all over, uh, making it hard for you to read. In fact, now Luke's talons are adding more scratches just by gripping it. However, you can make out a lot of notifications on the top screen, and an all-caps conversation Luke is having with a contact nicknamed Ma, uh, followed by a... <clears throat> A healthy amount of heart emojis. We did it, Master! Well, I didn't do much other than uh, explain how to write uh, contracts and, <clears throat> and make sure everything is in order. The others uh, did the heavy lifting, but I'm happy to have uh, been able to help. Greta has been most helpful explaining these concepts to me throughout these uh, sessions. I feel like I caught up with yeah, I feel like I caught up with some of the uh, advancements I missed these last decades. Still, uh, 
Uh, I still feel I need help. I need your help with uh, learning the ropes, Master. But I feel more confident in my ability to do so. Asterion's tech went up by one. This is incredible news. So, should I stay- should I try logging in? Well, you're welcome to try. The network is Minotaur Hotel, but the password is some stupid German shit, a word that's impossible to remember. Luke shows you the password in a memo on, on his phone. You manage to read it, despite the claw marks and crack in the screen, making it almost impossible to do so. <laughs> Okay, uh, we're going to have to change that. I know, right? She left some instructions on how to do it, thankfully. So, Minotaur Hotel. Okay, uh, that's memorable to... That's memorable and to the point, I suppose. You log in, and for the first time in a while, your Wi-Fi icon lights up. You manage to establish <coughs> internet access to the hotel. You can see your completed tech projects under the tech tab in the file screen in the pause menu. Internet access. Whoa. Uh, hey, it's the, it's the thing that, uh, okay, um, One of these I was supposed to dispute, right? Or something? Nah, it's fine. How do I exit? Oh no. Um, Baku? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> the excitement in the room is palpable, but you have other responsibilities uh, to attend to. You congratulate the team on a job well done and go and go to check out the exploration team. Let's check in on the, um, on the exploration team, yeah. Looks like your team found something. You found an old, uh, page torn, <coughs> torn off a book, a small memento of Asterion's past. You can read it by opening the file in the menu. By the way, did you get a chance to look behind the kiln? Much to my surprise, yes. There indeed was something else there. Kota hands you a clay tablet. You obtain a clay tablet revealing the um, hybrid's uh, despondency. Uh, you can read it in the file. Okay. After checking on the team, you head to the lounge for dinner. Okay. I'll end the part here, so I'll see you around, everyone. <laughs>